Welcome. Thank you for joining us for the last webinar of 2022. Our webinar for today is aptly titled New Year, New You, How to Get More Done and Free Up Your Time with Easy Digital Workflows. So my name is Nicole Schmeida. I'm the Senior Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare. I have a few poll questions for you today. I'll be moderating our customer spotlight chat and the Q&A at the end of the session. We also have joining us today, Michael Gale. He's our Senior Sales Director here at DocuWare. He has over 10 years of experience equipping companies of all sizes, um, all industries with document management and workflow solutions. And last but not least, we have Brenda Erickson, Credit Manager and DocuWare Champion of Low Miller and Company a leading HVAC distributor based out of Colorado. She will be, uh, we'll be chatting with her later today. She's gonna share her company's DocuWare success story. So thank you all for joining us. So here's the flow for today. First, Michael will go over why you need to automate, what are the benefits that you can achieve and how DocuWare can help you on that journey. Then he'll go into a live introductory demo and I'll have Brenda come back on the line for our customer spotlight chat, and we'll end it with the Q&A and get um, your questions answered. So first, to kick it off, we wanna start with a poll for everyone. So um, take a look at your screen now, I'm going to launch it. So how do you carry out your key processes now? Um, you have no formal procedures in place, you know, or maybe you're just winging it at the moment. You only have paper-based procedures, a mix of manual um, paper and digital procedures. You use automated digital workflows already, so that's great. You're here to see, you know, what can DocuWare offer? Maybe you're looking for a new solution, doing some research there. Or other, feel free to type in your question in the question box. So I'm just going to wait till I get a majority of votes in and I'll share it with everyone so we kind of see what everyone else is um, doing, you know, on the line right now. So I see the votes coming in. Just take a second. Um, you just have to pick one, one choice here. All right. Let me close the poll and share the results. So it looks like a majority of you use a mix of manual and paper digital procedures. So, you know, just doing something digitally doesn't necessarily mean it's automated. So, um, you know, we wanna give you the full 360 package and that's something Docker can really help you do. And some of you are already using an automated digital workflow. So that's great, you're on the right path. Uh, but maybe you're missing some other key features. So thank you for joining us and uh, seeing what DocuWare has to offer you. I'm going to close the poll now. So with that, I'm going to, um, Michael, if you're there, cool. I'm going to pass it off now to Michael. All right, thank you, Nicole. And guys, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna start to talk about your current environment. And first thing I'm gonna ask is, does this look familiar to you guys? Right? Do you have that paper scattered all over your desk and post-it notes all over your uh, computer monitor so that you can remind your thing, yourself of things that you have to do? So we certainly feel your pain. And what if I told you there was a way to have all your documents and action items in one spot so, even, so you can get things done on their own? When you look at the challenges that we face today in the office, we have scattered records everywhere, paper filing cabinets, email inboxes. We have all that stuff in Dropbox and Google Drive and OneDrive. And we have things that are just really all over and we're not really connected on most of our paper or digital documents. This causes overwhelming and administrative effort, lots of manual tasks for our employees, which result in a lot of time consuming searches for information. So what this causes for our organization is security gaps, a lot of painful auditing procedures and really ungated access to information, which creates compliance night nightmares for your companies. So let's talk about what other workers are benefiting and you can kind of hear straight from the source on what the state of the business automation is. So when we look at this, 94% of workers say that they perform rep rep repetitive or time consuming tasks in their role. 
right? Nine out of 10 of those knowledge workers say that it has automation has improved people's lives in the workplace, right? When you look at some of the small and medium-sized businesses, this allows their companies to compete in some of that larger scale. A lot of times I've heard, heard people in the, in the industry refer to DocuWare as, you know, the, the mid-market price for the enterprise application, right? Because we are appropriately priced for the value that you receive from DocuWare. And with that being said, right, we are your 24 seven by, your new 24 by seven employee, right? So when we look at DocuWare's package, we are like the Swiss army knife when it comes to content management applications. All the stuff that you kind of see over here on the left side of the screen with content capture and ingestion, whether you're uploading a device from a mobile form or whether you're filling out one of those electronic forms online or even scanning paper documents at your office or bringing in some of those things that we receive electronically today, but maybe we don't have a good process for it. In the middle here, this is where DocuWare can take over and provide a workflow for that document, maybe provide some information from an external line of business application where maybe we look up some index values about that document. And then ultimately what this does is provide you with instant searchability for these documents and the ability to integrate with other applications and pull and push data from DocuWare to help assist with other line of business applications that you have as well. And with DocuWare, you're covered because you can be connected anywhere, anytime, and really on any device. So whether you're using a mobile phone, a tablet, or a computer, you can access DocuWare and get your tasks done. And so as I mentioned those challenges today, we can solve those with DocuWare. So those scattered records, we can centrally organize those and keep those safe and secure for when your users need to access it. Those overwhelming and administrative effort tasks but we can have those ready to use workflows so that we can maximize the productivity out of your teams. And those security gaps and, and painful audit compliances that we have to face in our organizations, well, those are gonna be complete with security gaps closed and compliance adherence um, for all of the documents that we're storing in DocuWare. And you know, while we might start with one department or one process with a particular workflow, we quickly go into other departments with DocuWare. And that's why it's great to look at DocuWare as a content management application because you may have some line of business applications like in the accounting department that do great at storing the invoices. You may have some uh, line of business applications in your HR department that do a great job at storing employee documents. But now we've got one, two, three, four, five different places we have to go search for things. And it's not one central repository. And things are now, even though maybe digital, are scattered amongst multiple systems, right? And that's what we want to solve with DocuWare. Ultimately, guys, DocuWare is 100% cloud. It's also 100% on-premise. The feature parity between the two is exact. So all of those features that exist in our on-premise application are also for those uh, users that are in the cloud as well. So we're gonna go check out a demonstration of DocuWare and you're gonna to get to see a, a, a live workflow and you're gonna to get to see exactly what this looks like from an uh, end user's perspective. So this is DocuWare. On the right-hand side, we call this the document viewer. Over here on the left-hand side, we call this our navigation pane. Inside of our document viewer, if we have a document open, we have a really nice little toolbar here where we can easily put an annotation on top of the document, maybe write some text, do a highlight, a redaction, maybe draw an arrow and point to something. It's just an overlay though. We never affect the original integrity of your documents because the exact way that that document comes into DocuWare will always be maintained in that same format. If I need to easily print or email or download a copy, it's easily to do right here again within that toolbar. Now, over here on the left-hand side, this is more of our navigation screen. And we have a few different functional areas that we might go to inside of the navigation screen. The first one here is called a document tray. When you think about a document tray, think about that spot on your desk where a document might show up for you to look at. That's exactly what these can be. A document tree, tray can be for an individual user. A document tray may also be for a group of users, but this is like the temporary holding spot for your documents. So the documents that are laying out on your desk are very similar to the documents that you see laying out on the document tray. Only you have access to this, only you have access typically to the documents that are laying out on your desk. Now, once you store a document, it then goes into a filing cabinet. 
today I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you of a workflow in DocuWare, and it's a very simple workflow. It's one that's for a standard operating procedure. And at DocuWare, we're about to move into a new office up in Beacon. So we're going to issue a new standard operating procedure for the sales department that we're going to go through and we're going to process today. But inside of your filing cabinets, this is where you can go through and you can search for the various documents. When you create a filing cabinet, you might create some different index fields so that you can go through and find that document. That same index field may also be where you're linking to an external line of business application to either pull some data in or push some data out to that particular application. Now, next over from our filing cabinets, we have what are called lists. When you think about lists, literally think about a dashboard of your documents, a place where you might go to see anything where a, a document is assigned to you to review, to work on, or maybe just bring your attention. But really, it is like a dashboard for your documents. Now, the next button over here is called Tasks. These are for our workflow manager, when we want to route documents around for approval, like today, once we continue uh, completing the standard operating procedure and we finished working on that internally, we're actually going to send that into a workflow so that you can see how a simple approval process takes place. My tasks are going to be things assigned to me, while monitor tasks would be if I'm an administrator to that particular workflow, I can see where each one of those tasks is currently at within its cycle. Next over, we have our folder structures. Folders are a, a great way to find documents in DocuWare. A lot of us are used to Windows folder structures are on our computer, right? Microsoft introduced us to these back in the early 90s, and we've used like products like OneDrive and Dropbox and SharePoint and Google Drive, and all of these are very folder-driven repositories where users are used to going into a parent, a parent folder structure and then maybe drilling down into multiple folders to find the documents they're looking for. We can recreate those same folder structures in DocuWare to make it easy for your users to start to get used to using the application. And then lastly here we have web forms. And we can build web forms for all kinds of things, whether that's an employee onboarding form and you want to have an employee digitally fill out a form on their first day of employment where we go through and create lots of documents, or today you're going to see an SOP acknowledgement form. So once I've gotten an email and I've read my standard operating procedure, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to acknowledge that I have then received that and read off on what I'm supposed to do. So we're going to go all the way back to a document tray. And we're going to talk first about a few of the different ways that we can get documents into DocuWare. And again, what I'm going to go through today is a standard operating procedure demo. So all this is, is a company. We typically have a compliance or a legal department maybe within our organization that anytime we want to issue a new standard operating procedure, we might have a Word document or we might have a PDF that we fill out today, but then we have to go through and get different users that are responsible for that particular process to then sign off on this. Well, sometimes if we have lots of different users and they're in different offices and different locations, this can be very cumbersome to go and complete, right? We have US sales directors that are located all throughout the United States and sometimes only come into the office a couple times a year. So being able to collect this information electronically and have a digital automated workflow is really important to make sure that these SOPs get reviewed in a timely manner. So we're all the way back at a document tray. And again, there's a couple different ways to bring documents in. I just want to bring your attention to those. One of those ways is we can simply scan documents in. So we have if we have some paper-based documents that we just need to get into DocuWare, we could simply plug a USB scanner into our computer and we could then scan those documents right into DocuWare from here. We could also monitor a folder. So if you wanna go up and use one of those copy machines, you can scan to a network folder, we can monitor that network folder and we can bring the document right in from there. You can also browse out on your computer if you wanted to, or you could drag and drop a document in similar to how I did with this Microsoft Word document. So here's the document that we're gonna work on today. We're gonna store this document within DocuWare, and then we're gonna route this document around for an approval process. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and click on our store button. And this allows me to store the document into DocuWare. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call this maybe the beacon move, or the maybe we'll just call it the office move, and it's for the location of beacon, right? And so now 
we can store the standard operating procedure and this is just the template, right? So we're gonna go through together and we're gonna work on this SOP so that we can get it the way that we want it prior to routing it around for approval. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on the store button. And as you notice, I'm the judge and the jury today. So I also have the ability to not only do the authoring of the SOP, I also get to do the approval. Now this would normally never happen in a typical environment, but since I'm running the demo, I get, to, I get to call the shots today. So what you noticed is the document, as soon as I stored it, went right over into a list and went into a work in progress for our SOPs. And maybe all of the uh, SSDs, which are senior sales directors within DocuWare, there's a couple of other of us here in the United States, were notified as a part of me storing this document. They certainly could have been. And then we brought this document to a list. And so at this point, we can open up this document and we can see that maybe we wanna make some changes to this. And in this case, maybe we wanna open it up within Microsoft Word and do that right on our computer. So I can just simply right click on the document, click on the edit button. So one of the things that DocuWare can help you do along with helping with the workflows and routing these documents around is we can help you with the version control of documents. So as we would go through and put some text on the document, for whatever purpose. Obviously, I don't have this within the English language because I do not type that badly. Uh, at least I didn't spell that many words incorrectly. And so what we can do now is we can save this document. We don't have to think about a save as or where we're gonna save this and uh, put in a version one, version two. That's gonna make those changes to the document. It's gonna upload it right back into DocuWare. And then that's gonna replace the document that we just uploaded or stored into DocuWare. Notice we now see put some text on the document for whatever purpose. If I right click, right, I could look at this document and I could look at the version overview. So now I could see the original version, right? The one that we had the original insert text here under the purpose of our SOP. And now we can see that we have a second version of this document. And if we wanted to, maybe we wanted to work on this document in real time. This is one of the coolest new features of DocuWare is for all of our cloud users, we can go in and we can edit this document in the web. So we can use our Office 365 license now to open this document up within Microsoft Word, and then we can make simultaneous changes on this document if we needed to, so that all of us can then collaborate in real time. So this makes it really easy for us to be able to make changes, right? One of us is in California, another one's up in uh, Rhode Island, and now we can sit here and we can make changes to this document all at the same time, but completely be in separate rooms, maybe talking on the phone. This is the new world of technology and learning how to work with different applications and how we, when we're more remote and working with other users more remotely, we can still collaborate and make it easy. All right, so now that we've got any of the changes made to, to this particular document, it now becomes time for us to send this through a workflow. So at this time, we want somebody to go through and we want them to provide their approval. Well, again, since I'm the judge and jury today, I get to decide how this thing takes place. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna put my approval stamp right here in this signature block next to the author, letting the workflow know that it's time to pick up this standard operating procedure and then actually provide a workflow for approval. Now, one of the things that's gonna happen here is immediately you will notice as soon as the workflow picks it up that we will see a new task that will come in and a new task will then populate for me to go through and approve this particular SOP. So we'll give that just a second here. Running a little slow behind the scenes. There it goes. And now we see that we got a new SOP for approval. And so a new task has been created and we can literally click right here in this email that I received because one of the things that you'll notice, I, don't know if you guys know this, but people don't always love change. Change is hard for people. Well, if we get this new application and we start to ask users to use it and we don't send them notifications, we don't send them some sort of communication to start to interact with it, they may never come in DocuWare and realize they have something to do. But if we use a workflow that can send reminder emails, that can send initial emails with literally what we need for you to do, like a workflow for the SOP approval, a new task has been assigned to you, the SOP for the office move is ready for your approval. Click here. 
I don't have to think much about when I'm looking at this email on what I need to do to click on that button. And it then takes me right into that particular approval so that I can then review that standard operating procedure. And then I'm given my acceptance or my rejection buttons based on what I'd like to do here. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the approval button to approve the SOP. And now, because this SOP gets approved at this particular point, what's gonna happen is we're gonna route this around for all of my users to then review and make any comments on that particular SOP if we needed them to make comments, but maybe that is just an approval procedure that we need them to be able to provide. So at this point, we're gonna get an email here in just a second. What that email will do is let all of the different users know that they have uh, an approval that they need to read. So there will be an attachment to that particular email. So they will be able to open up and see that new SOP. Then we will also have them fill out a link to a particular web form so that we can go through and we can have them, get just a second here, we can have them through, <laughs> approve that they have signed off on this. And my email is just given one quick scan here and there it is. And now what we see is we got this new office move. So this is the SOP approval template that we went through and approved together. Here you can see it created a PDF copy of the document when it sent it to me. So it's not the original Microsoft Word document. We actually exported this in PDF format. We can see that I'm both the author of this particular SOP template as well as the approver to this particular SOP template. And then anything that we had done obviously or any changes that we had made to the, the template before the final version was sent out is then included within this document. Obviously, this SOP template would have a lot more information filled out. We would probably have the responsibility and who would be notified of this uh, particular SOP. But for demo purposes today, we obviously made this a little faster and a little more simplified than we would do it if we were doing it in real life. Now, in this case, we can see that we need to go ahead and click here to acknowledge that we've read the standard operating procedure. So the workflow is going in looking at maybe the group of employees or the department that needs to sign off on this particular SOP template. And it's going through and saying, okay, we need you to approve that you have read this. So we can then go and put in our employee name or email address or domain name, whatever you want the employee to use on this particular form. We could also capture the login of the user if we needed to. And then we can select the specific standard operating procedure that we're signing off. And here we've just got a little checkbox saying that we have read this and I understand that I could be randomly questioned on my understanding of this SOP. So at this point, I can just go ahead and put my signature in the box. I can click on this little submit button. And now what's gonna happen is that SOP acknowledgement is gonna go in and it's gonna store itself right inside the filing cabinet. And so if I had a workflow that was sitting there watching for when that document got submitted, I could make sure that all of the particular employees had submitted their SOP approvals and, and that this task had been finally completed by all of the different employees that were responsible for either that particular SOP, they were part of that location, or again, maybe they were part of that department. And so now, if I needed to go in and search for that, right, we have our standard search functionality. So if we wanted to go search for the actual SOP, right, we could start to type out office move and we could actually go and see that standard operating procedure that got approved and then was sent out to all the employees. At the same time, we could go and we could search for those acknowledgements. So if I wanted to search by employee name and see all the acknowledgements for employee Michael Gale, again, I could go and click on that and I could see the acknowledgement of that particular SOP. Now. The cool thing, as I mentioned before, is if your users wanna have that same traditional folder structure, well, this is where that might come in handy. Because now if we wanna go and we wanna look at SOP acknowledgements by location or by SOP, we can take any of these index fields that you see over here on the left-hand side, and we can make them parent-child folders. So here we go by location, then we go by employee name, and then here's all the different SOPs that would be relevant to that particular employee. So whether this is, you know, guys, HR documents, accounting documents, legal documents, discovery documents, it really doesn't matter the document type. It just matters that you've seen the interface and see how DocuWare presents the documents because ultimately 
all of this is configurable, whether it's the index fields that we need to be uh, particular nomenclature that we use or whether the file cabinet needs to be named in a certain way, all of that is going to be customizable. So DocuWare really is for all of the little ad hoc workflows that you have as an organization where maybe you don't have a procedure in place for whatever it is today and you want to start to look at how we can start to solve some of this with DocuWare. Uh, and, and again, we do have a few templated-based systems like accounts payable and employee management, smart document control, electronic signatures, where you can literally right out of the box get started with a solution to start to go and tackle that problem within your organization. So really appreciate uh, you guys watching the demonstration portion of today's demo. I'm going to kick this back over to Nicole and she's going to take you through our customer journey with Brenda. Thanks, Michael. Um, I was just wanted to check, um, would there be an under the hood of that workflow manager available? Well, absolutely. So guys, so that you can see this, I'm going to go in, we're going to pull open the DocuWare workflow designer. Marketing just always wants a little bit more on a demo, which is always okay. And so this is some of the behind the scenes look. So I've got lots of different uh, workflows uh, that I've got created in my system here. But if I go in and look at this compliance workflow, what you'll notice is it's very simple. So here's where we did that SOP assignment. So notice that's where we went out and assigned that SOP for approval. That approve and reject button that you saw, this is how simple it was to create that task, right? Here's where the notification went out to the user. Here's where the decision of approve or reject was made. When you look at other comparable systems where you can create digital workflows, right? You would typically see code going into the screen. Here, it's just a really nice graphical user interface that's easy for users to define and build the things that they want within their organization. So thank you, Nicole, for having me show that. All right, cool. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for that uh, behind the scenes there. So I'm going to, I have one poll question for you guys. Now that you've seen the demo, let me get that going here. I'm going to take back the presentation. Thank you. All right. So um, now that you've seen an introductory demo, um, kind of saw the overview, saw one workflow example, just to get a feel for how it works. Um, I just launched a poll um, on your screen now. What workflow manager, uh, workflow features would you like to learn more about? What intrigued you that, you know, you'd want more information, maybe have a further discussion on that? Um, whatever you know you need help on like let's continue the conversation so you can pick one or more options on your screen now so just get a good amount of votes in and then i'll share the results if there's anything else like i said if you have any questions about you would just what you just saw pop it in the question box now and we will get to it at the end during the q a session all right Looks like we got a good amount. I'm going to close it and share the results. So it looks like a lot of you are interested in tracking processes, having that transparency and insight. And, you know, what, where, what is the status of the workflow? So you don't have to, you know, send manual follow up emails, have a bunch of sticky notes on your desk. Let the system do the work for you. Send out those initial emails, those notification reminders, store documents, um, send out emails with forms that, whether it's internal, external, people need to work on, Docuer has you covered. All right, thank you all. So with that now, we will start our customer spotlight chat. So I'm going to turn back on my webcam and also ask that Brenda come back on the line as well. Let me get her. Oh, hi, Brenda. Hi. How are you today? I am just fine. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to participate. I'm excited. Yes, thank you so much. So um, as I mentioned earlier, everyone, um, 
Welcome to, uh, welcome Brenda Erickson. She is the credit manager and the DocuWare champion at Low, Low Miller & Company, a leading HVAC distributor based out of Colorado. And she is happy to share her DocuWare story with us today. So we really appreciate that. Um, so Brenda, just to start us off, can you give me an overview of your role at Low Miller and an overview of the company in general? Yes, yeah, so Carrier West is our trade name. We are the Rocky Mountain distributor of the Carrier HVAC brand name. We are the number one distributor in the United States. We're very proud of that. And along with that, of course, we have a ton of processes and a ton of procedures that need to need to be followed. I was hired back uh, about a decade ago as the corporate credit manager um, when I first came on board. Everything was paper, credit applications, uh, tax documents, everything that lives and breathes in my department was all paper files. Um, we were approached with this solution and I, I can tell you that when I was first introduced to DocuWare, I was very hesitant. As Michael touched upon, it's hard to change and it's also a little bit scary when you have sensitive documents that you're afraid to afraid to lose. Um, but I can tell you once uh, once I kind of got over myself a little bit on that uh, and trusted it, I would never go back. DocuWare has been the best solution for my department and for the other departments that my my credit department interacts with and, and company-wide. It's been absolutely an amazing product. Great, thanks for that um, overview. So um, kind of just going a little deeper into, you know, how you found DocuWare, like what was what were some of the key pains or problems that made you look for a document management system in the first place? Um, you know, you mentioned like a lot of paper, uh, maybe frustration with um, manual processes. Any yeah, um, the manual there? processes, I saw in the poll that um, a lot of, a lot of the processes that we used were very email heavy. So we would have a sales department maybe would have to email six or seven different attachments to the credit department. The credit department would have to look at those documents and then forward it on to maybe commercial ordering, for example, or the purchasing department or any, any other internal department that might need to be involved in selling a job or helping a customer for any other reason. Um, with the DocuWare platform, we created workflows where we send all of the documents through the platform that Michael demonstrated for you. Um, we actually have it enhanced in that the stamps automatically apply, so we don't have to remember to stamp it approved. It gives wow. a full visibility to the process. According to the, the poll, everybody was looking at wanting to know what the status of a specific process is or was or who did what when. DocuWare absolutely provides complete visibility and transparency to all of that. We do it for our sales process. We also do it internally for um, our HR department and the compensation adjustments. We do expense reports. We do accounts payable. We store all of our shipping documents all of our receiving documents. It's, I can't think of a single department that we have that does not use DocuWare. And it allows all of the employees to search other cabinets with the exception of HR. You know, <laughs> HR right. is pretty picky about who gets to play in their cabinets. And, um, but at any given moment, even our warranty department, if I have a customer who is looking for the status of a warranty claim for maybe they received a bad part, I can pop into the warranty cabinet and look for the information myself without having to email or call another department, ask them for the status and wait for them to get back to me in order to answer my customer. I can pull it up and have the customer taken care of in a matter of moments when it used to take days. Um, the other painful thing that we that we undertake on a, well, Almost a, almost a quarterly basis is our internal audits, whether it's a tax audit, whether it's an accounts receivable audit, accounts payable audit, all of the documents are right there at our fingertips. I save all of the customer remittances, for example. I save the check copies. We save all of the proof of delivery. We, receive the, we save the original purchase orders. Everything we do is stored on DocuWare and it makes it so much easier. 
Great. Yeah, it sounds like from what you were saying that Docker is very well immersed in your company's processes. Yes. Um, like it's it seems like you're like a Docker first company. So if you have like a new process or something, you know, is it is it easy to say like, you know, Docker can handle that or Docker can can help us carry this pro new process out? Any anytime we have a new process or a new employee, um, we we explore the DocuWare platform as our solution before we turn anywhere else. Um, all of the support that we receive from DocuWare staff is absolutely amazing. We have never gone unanswered. We they they help us with our solutions. The the little um, under the hood thing that Michael was demonstrating. Um, we actually when we first kicked off this process, um, they just asked us what is it that you do so i would just map it out and just say well first it goes here and then it goes there and then we do this and then we do that and they're very very good about interpreting what you're trying to say if you're not in command right. of all of the technical jargon it's perfectly fine because they understand what you need and they uh, make it work great um I had a question before, so when I introduced you, you know, I called you the Docker champion at Low Miller. Yeah. Can you go a little deeper into, you know, your product oversight of Docker at the company? Yeah, um, I think, I think, generally speaking, in the sales world, um, we might have a sales rep who might have passion for a certain product or for another or for a process, and with me. Um, once I came on board with DocuWare, I was so excited about it and understood it and also had the system intelligence um, with our internal processes and procedures because I've been there long enough and worked with all of the different departments that I was chosen as the DocuWare champion in order to expand it to the rest of our corporation to um, kind of be the go-to internal person with DocuWare questions. and. It's it's fun. I like it. It's and also as we all know, you know, the hardest part is just getting going, just understanding it, not being scared of it, embracing it to help you and and to just you know bring that passion to the rest of the employees. It's a fun product. I like playing with it. Yeah, definitely. And you mentioned before, like you said in the beginning, you know, like we're all we're humans here, so there is you know a fear to change. Like, how is this going to work? So you said, you know, once you overcame that, how was it um, working with the different departments um, in your company, like helping them maybe overcome? Did they have any like similar fears or concerns? It's easy to say if I can get over it, anybody can get over it because I would probably be the one that would be most concerned about my documents. Um, with we have all of our contracts, all of our subcontracts, our prime contracts, all of our credit applications, personal guarantees, tax documents, either um, our tax documents or our customers' tax documents. Everything that we have um, is stored on DocuWare. I don't keep a scrap of paper on my desk that I need to store. That's not to say that I don't have a desk full of paper because I do and the stickies, but it's not documents that I need to keep. It's working work in progress documents and little sticky notes that I keep for myself. But anything that's absolutely important, we store on DocuWare. I work one-on-one um, -on -one with other department managers and showing them just how easy it is. I think some of the fear just comes from the unknown. You just, you're used to a procedure and you don't want it to change because you're familiar with it. And it's just the way that it gets done that has changed, not the how, but the way. And so, you know, once people get into it and see what it can do, and once you understand all of the tools, I think that it's, a, it's frankly an easy sell. Right. Um... I like to say, or I've said in previous sessions, you know, like, like you, you, it feels like a weight is lifted off your shoulders. Oh, for sure. Great. Yeah, I don't um, have to worry about it. I know it's there. Right. It's almost. I was. I think um, in the emails I was, you know, that you guys received in, in invitations, I almost refer to it as like your second brain, because you know you can only hold so much information in your head at once. Um, but now there's like this other solution you have that can just 
you know, connect all your data, your documents, different departments. Um, yeah, I keep I keep the DocuWare platform open all day because as I'm going through my routines, even posting cash receipts, if I come across a, a discrepancy, I can just search for maybe an invoice number in DocuWare and it'll pull it up. It's it's amazing. I don't even have to use the fields that I created because it will find an invoice number on a customer's check in a matter of moments um, where before I would have to go to a cabinet. I would have to look for the date of the deposit. I would have to search through the entire deposit and look for that specific check. Then I would have to look for the remittance for that check. I it's it's just I can't overemphasize how easy DocuWare is to use and how much time it has saved me and my department and the entire company, especially in audits. It used to take us a full week to pull all the documents for our auditors, and now I just have a clerk pull it in a matter of a couple of hours max. Right, yeah, that's definitely, I, that's a, a common thing I hear when speaking to other customers as well. It, you know, it used to take us, it could take like a week, now it's down to a few days, or like a week, and now it's down to a few hours. So that's the goal here is, you know, there's there's time that you can free up in your day to day by, you know, relying on DocuWare. So that, that's that's great. I don't know. I honestly don't know how I uh, how I functioned without it before. Awesome. So, um, how do you, how do you think uh, your employees feel about DocuWare? What benefits resonate the most? You think are there like common themes you've been hearing, or kind of the general the general mood now that DocuWare has been in play? I think I think the generality of it is the ease of being able to find the documents and being able to know what the status is, especially in a workflow process. Most of the people who use it to store as well as use it as a workflow um, say the same things. It's just it's it's so easy to use. It is so easy to find things. Um, the only real issues that we have in DocuWare are those people who don't know how to use it um, the, or who refuse to use it. And you know, you're gonna have a bunch of those every now and then, I suppose, it's human nature. Um, but once, you know, they're he they hesitate. So once they're in there though, I just can't stress enough that once you use the DocuWare platform, it's almost a little bit foolish feeling that it was so scary at the beginning. Mm. But again, it's it's just a matter of getting it done, getting it uploaded, getting your fingers ready to just open up the DocuWare platform and find whatever it is you need. Of course, you have to count on somebody to put it there, but the workflow process um, stores the documents on its own, which is also a huge benefit. We've had the documents that we most commonly store configured through DocuWare so that it will automatically store itself in the appropriate cabinet because doc, the DocuWare tray understands what the document is and will store it for me. So a lot of the, the storage that I use for DocuWare is just simple a simple click and it knows where to go and it goes there and then I find it. Perfect. Yeah, and I, I think what you said before about how there's going to be some people who just gravitate towards it easily, maybe some people just have to overcome it. And um, I just wanted to kind of highlight again what Michael mentioned earlier. He said, you know, you don't have to start in every department. You could start out, start out maybe even one process because the, the solution is flexible and and go from there and expand as you see fit. So Brenda, like, are you guys um, currently looking at expanding the solution or is it pretty like well immersed throughout the organization um, as a whole it's, already? Yeah, it's, it's, we're fully immersed within DocuWare, but I believe that we have barely scratched the surface of what DocuWare can actually do for us. We have created DocuWare forms that kick off work processes we also have other forms that we print to a DocuWare, a virtual DocuWare printer that kicks off other processes. And then of course, all of the storage capabilities. But you know, even with Michael's demonstration, some of the stuff that he was touching upon and some of the tools that he was using on the platform between the tray and the viewer, 
It's like, you know, I'm not sure what that button does. And I've been using it for years and years. So I'm sure that we could even, we could, we could ex expand on our use of DocuWare greatly. And, and uh, so I was thinking about some of the processes that I'm currently working on that I'm wondering why we haven't done it in DocuWare. It's from another department. So I've already got a notepad going of certain things, just being part of this, of other oh, ideas okay. that I've come up with. <laughs> great, great. Um, all right, and just, um, I think we just have one or two more questions for you, Brenda, and then we'll, and then I'll um, wrap it up for our Q&A. Okay. Um, what is the biggest benefit you think that has Docker has brought to maybe external stakeholders like your customers or vendors or anyone else um, that your company interacts with? Um, I would say the speed in which we're able to answer their inquiries because we can find the information without asking other people for it. Yeah, definitely. So you mentioned before, like instead of like something taking a week, now it's only a oh, few okay. hours for the audit or just clicks. Things go from digging to clicks. Yeah, and within my credit department, of course, you know, if a customer, you know, I handle approving the orders for shipment and I also have a staff who handles our accounts receivable. So when customers call and ask questions in order to be able to pay their bill, for example, I'm not paying this because of this. Um, usually we are able to find the solution directly within DocuWare as we've got the customer on the phone to satisfy it. Because as a credit manager, I know that if a customer doesn't receive satisfaction or can't get an answer on a dispute, their way to resolve it is to not pay it until they get it. So we get a lot of questions in my department that are actually, you know, directed to other departments and so it just gives me the ability to quickly and easily answer their questions and get the situation resolved. So I would say, you know, in summary, speediness has been the absolute time, just the time that TalkyWare saves is, is just, I can't, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I will yeah. never go back. And that's the thing too, especially like you said with like customer questions, it's like, that's that's almost like the name of the game. Like people expect quick answers, relevant answers, and, that, and, and that's, the, that's the nice thing. And that's that's one of the things that we talk about a lot internally is our customers expect instant gratification. And with the texting and the emailing, and everybody always wants everything now. And DocuWare helps us get that done. Great. So yeah, just wanted to end with this really nice picture. Um, DocuWare held a Customer Appreciation Week in 2021, where we featured different DocuWare stories um, online, and Lowe Miller was one of them. And um, Brenda, did you, uh, for one last question, and then we can wrap up, but for you personally, like what, is, what does DocuWare mean to you? And you know, what, this, what did this day mean in terms of celebrating Lowe Miller's DocuWare success? It was a fun day. It, um... And I'm not even, you know, for me, it's just how we are. You know, we we get something, we believe in it, and and we take off and run with it. And that was a very fun day to be to be honored with customer during the customer appreciation week, and to be able to pass out the swag. As a matter of fact, I have my swag right here oh, that nice. I keep on my, <laughs> that I keep on my desk. But it's just, you know, it's it's. It's a product that's that's easy for me to support and easy for me to to recommend and to be you know acknowledged for our enthusiasm for it. It was a it was a good fun day. All right, thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and perspectives on using DocuWare. Um, welcome. For anyone that has any questions, type them in the chat and we will get to it in Q and A. So. I'm going to finish up with some slides now. Let me just get um, my screen here going. And then uh, all three of us will come back on shortly. So let me do. All right. So let's wrap it up. Um, just some fun working tip series that I wanted to start going forward each um, webinar. Um, it's called our Mindful Work Hack. So for this month, I just want to encourage you guys or remind you if you forget, I know we're so busy this um, month 
the year ending and all, um, just work in your natural light. I know this may or may not be obvious, but just being in the sunlight, whether you know you take a 15 minute walk or you can position yourself near a well-lit window, just really boost your overall mood and well-being. You know, you need to make sure you get enough vitamin D, especially uh, this time of year. So I just wanna remind you with that, and just this is just a little simple tip that you can do now. And we'll share new tips every month. So hope this was helpful for you all. And if you only remember one thing as we close today, DocuWare is your new 24 seven digital employee. Think of it like that way. They're getting the work done for you so you can gain back time and brain power. You saw an introductory demo um, that Michael did. Um, you heard from Brenda on you know, how she, she's not going back. Um, she can't even remember, you know, how she was working before DocuWare. So let's continue that conversation. Let's take the next step. You can contact your authorized DocuWare partner. You should have received a newsletter email or webinar invitation email from them. Uh, their contact info is on that, or you can reply directly to that email. You can request a personalized demo at DocuWare.com slash demo, or email us anytime at contact.us at docuware.com and we'll get your questions answered. So with that, I would ask Michael and Brenda to come back on the line for Q&A. Looks like we got a few minutes left. Um, again, if you need to jump, don't worry. We will send you an email with the recording and the slides and handouts. Uh, let's see, all right. Great, looks like we're all here. So I did want to mention too, Nicole, if yes. anybody would want, would like to reach me directly with any other questions um, outside of the, of the DocuWare staff, I would be more than happy to communicate with anybody that uh, attended this webinar if you would like more detailed information on, on how we went about any of it. Oh, okay, great. Um, would it be best if they emailed our uh, email address and then we can send it to you? Absolutely, whatever you feel is necessary. All right, great, yeah. So if you guys have any specific questions for Brenda, feel free to note that in the email that you sent to us and we'll be sure to pass it along. So thank you, Brenda. Sure. Um, let's see, uh, let's jump in with some questions here. First one is, let's see, can a traffic light system be applied to tasks in the task list, in the task list based upon when they are due? Michael? Well, so we don't have uh, the actual colors, right? Like green, yellow, red, like we do in the intelligent indexing on the storage of the documents, but you could certainly assign a priority to a particular task. And then inside of the workflow manager, what you're able to do is you're able to modify that dashboard of the different index values that you can see in the my tasks view or in the workflow, uh, the, the workflow task view. And then you can then sort or filter based on whatever criteria you want so that you could basically create sort of a traffic light system. Typically, that means I want to assign certain levels of priority, like high priority, medium priority, low priority. And then that way, those tasks could filter appropriately. Great question. Got it. All right. Um, I have a question. Next question is about integration. So first, I'll ask you, Michael, and then I'll ask Brenda. So, um, Michael, does DocuWare link directly with accounting software? Oh, absolutely. So DocuWare has integrated with a lot of different applications. We have both a .NET and a REST-based API that you can use to dynamically connect to other applications. We also have a few different infrastructure as a service platforms, like one of those is make.com, where you can then connect the two applications, especially if it's cloud to cloud, you can then connect those two APIs, and that's just the application programming interface. And you can connect those data points so that you can do data transfers from DocuWare to an ERP or to an accounting-based application. All right, thank you. And Brenda, um... Do you, is Docu, I know like we said like it's well immersed in your organization. Is it integrated with other, maybe you have like specific applications um, in different departments? Um, it talks to our ERP system and it also talks to one of the carrier platforms that we have um, to process our warranties. So it's definitely something that um, we are starting to use. 
I know our accounts payable department, it does uh, integrate also with our other vendors, the vendors that we purchase from. So it's, it's provided a seamless transition for the paper environment, as you can imagine, an AP department or a warranty department might be with all the claim forms as well. So it allows us to, again, jump into any cabinet and any process and see exactly where it is. But speaking to other platforms, it's definitely something that we are now exploring um, and we've kicked it off in three separate departments so far. Oh, okay, great, thank you. Um, let's see. Um, someone's asking, how is this different than like Google Drive or Dropbox? Oh man. All right, sales will take that question. So, you know, one of the biggest things that you have with Google Drive and Dropbox is the inability to control files down to what we call the index value level. So when you have to protect things like HR documents or confidential documents within your organization, just having read or write permissions doesn't fit the bill. You need to be able to have audit level details so that you can go back and see who looked at the file and when and why they were looking at the file. Uh, if they changed any information in that file or added anything to it. Uh, additionally, within those typically the folder driven repositories, it's very difficult to delete and clean up the documents because you don't have good controls on index values or the structure of that information. So when you wanna go back in and delete things, it's almost harder than if you were trying to go pull paper out of a filing cabinet, because you then have to go into every little file folder, every little subfolder and start to see the date of when those documents were created. That's very, very, very cumbersome. Um, a lot of those solutions also, you knew your sales was going to take this one. A lot of those solutions also download local copies of those documents onto a user's PC. That makes that PC more vulner vulnerable if it was ever lost or hacked into or something you know, from a ransomware attack was ha to happen to that particular PC. You can avoid that with Docuware. Yeah, thank you. Um... It's just Docuware is much more dynamic, like whereas the Google Drives or Dropboxes is more like a static solution. While it is digital, it's still very limited and static in what you can accomplish with it. Um, let's see. Next question is, someone's asking about auditing reports. So maybe Brenda, you can give some insight in that. Someone is asking, like, how far back can it go? I guess, how far back can the Docuware system hold documents or what is what is your experience with that? We don't have any limits on our DocuWare. Um, whatever you put there stays there. So when we first came on board, I had five, probably about five foot, um, I would say five by five foot high by probably six to seven feet long filing cabinets uh, that had all of our credit documents in it. I just paid somebody to scan those all in for us and they're there. The only way it comes out of DocuWare is if you physically delete it. And that's the other thing that we put in place too, is we created a process where nobody can delete a document out of DocuWare without mm -hmm. IT intervention and departmental um, management approval. So let's say a duplicate. So if there's a duplicate in a tray, you can delete it, but once it's stored, you can't delete it. So you don't have to worry about how far back it goes. Once you put it there, it will stay there. Yep. Right, definitely. You have that peace of mind um, that your documents you are worry about it. safe and secure. All right, it and looks you don't like we're... worry about it being misfiled either. That's true. <laughs> yes, you can find yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you can find it. You know where it is. It's a one stop shop. Um, all right, it looks like we're over time here. Um, so again, everyone, the, there's information on the screen here. There's various ways to take the next step. Um, let's engage, let's connect. Um, I know it's gonna be busy over the next few weeks, but hopefully you know, this is something you can take away, take back to your team, talk to them and reach out you know, with next steps because we're here to help you. We're here to help you get started and help you solve your um, challenges. So, yes, as a customer, I have to tell you, if you're at, if you're at at least a little bit interested, please take the next step. You will not regret it. Definitely. So, um, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks, Michael, for your demo, and thank you, Brenda, so much for, you know, sharing your insights, your wise words. Um, we appreciate you, and. 
everyone. I hope you have a great rest of the month, uh, ha healthy and happy holiday season. And uh, we'll, we'll be here next year. There's going to be um, a webinar every month going forward. So if you want to see more as well, you'll definitely get invited to that. So look out for an email from us later today and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care.